Hey everybody, welcome to another War Thunder Pilot video. This is Worcestershire, and in this video I'm going to share with you one of my favorite aerial combat maneuvers, which I find to be very effective when dogfighting, at getting kills and staying alive. And uh, you will see it in action several times in this video. So it's a good idea to get as much altitude as you can, because you want to have that advantage, you want to have that energy advantage over your opponents. As you can see, I'm flying the Japanese Kai-61, and so uh, this is, we're talking tier 2 prop planes. But if you're flying any fighter that has at least an average or better turn time, this method should be pretty effective. Doesn't matter what BR. Alright, here we go. There's a BF-109 right there that's slightly lower altitude. He appears to be climbing and turning towards me. And I basically dive down towards him, but under his guns, and then loop around and get behind him. There's the first kill, and now I'm climbing back up, and I'm scanning around looking for any other targets. This P-39 is climbing towards me on my 6, and I want to turn around and face him, then point my nose down for a bit so I can get some of my speed back then pull up while dodging his head-on attack and loop around and get on a 6. That was pretty much a textbook example of the maneuver that I'm trying to share with you guys. Now, I wouldn't try that if I was going too slow or if I was on a plane that didn't turn really well. It's important that you can uh, you can make that loop faster than than the other plane. And here's another P-39 climbing at me. Let's try the same maneuver. Dive down to face him, avoid his head on, and then loop around. So you may have noticed that these first three kills have been basically 1v1s. Would it work? Would the same maneuver work with a uh, 2v1? Yeah, it could. Depends on the planes, depends on the situation. But um, any more than 2v1, it's it's pretty risky. You're, you're likely to get shot down or take some serious damage. Here's a Kai-61 I noticed that's aggressively coming towards me. I start off with a sort of a steep climb here because I think I'm high enough above him that he might stall underneath me and I can just turn down and shoot him. He doesn't appear to be slowing down so I dive down to face him. And I feel like a loop isn't going to cut at this time because he's still moving pretty fast and it's turning pretty tight. So I start to spiral climb. Now I see he's slowed down enough where I can make my move. Now I spot this Spitfire that's close by and climbing up at me pretty quickly. And again, I think oh, I'll just keep climbing and he'll stall out underneath me and be an easy kill. But he's still climbing fast, and now I'm in a bad situation because I'm about to stall and he's right, on, right behind me shooting away. So I continue my upward spiral until I'm about to stall, and then I pull the classic hammerhead maneuver. Now that last kill wasn't exactly the maneuver I wanted to share with you, and uh, for the rest of this match I maybe only use that maneuver once or twice more, and I'll point that out when it happens, but in the meantime just sit back and, uh, and enjoy it.
So here's a hurricane that I'm about to do the maneuver on. Nose down, dodge the head on, loop around. This time it took me a full loop and a half instead of a half a loop. That is pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even learned something. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd appreciate if you gave this video a like and very much appreciate if you subscribe to my channel.